What is rigid flat foot? We've talked about the flexible flat foot, but what happens when the foot loses its ability to adapt altogether? A rigid flat foot is a different story. It's no longer a variant, it's a pathology. In children, one of the most common causes is tarsal coalition, where two or more bones in the hind foot are abnormally fused together, either by fibrous or bony bridges. This limits motion at the subtalar joint, preventing proper supination during gait. The foot becomes stiff, the middle arch remains collapsed and the pain usually develops during adolescence. Another important red flag is congenital vertical talus, a rare condition where the talus bone is abnormally positioned, causing a rigid rocker bottom deformity visible in the early years of infancy. Rigid flat foot can also occur in neuromuscular disorders like cerebral palsy where muscle imbalance leads to fixed structural deformity. Unlike flexible flat foot, treatment here is surgical and it must be individualized based on the underlying etiology, whether that's resection, fusion, or soft tissue balancing.